What's shaking guys, Magic Activator here back again for episode number 6 of our Pokemon Obsidian Let's Play. In the last episode, we defeated the first gym leader of the Everan region, and we set sail with our father and Phil over here uh, to this new place to explore, this cave, and we came down here exploring, hoping to find some discoveries. And at first it seemed a little bit uninteresting, but after an incident, uh, we apparently have found a new and secret place within the cave. So, uh, if you missed the last episode, you should definitely go check it out to see what went down. Uh, because there will be spoilers here in just a moment. But anyway, uh, today we're going to continue exploring this cave, and I think we will also get to go to the next town, which is pretty cool. So, just depending on how long all of this takes. So, uh... Before we get started, be sure that if you are excited for today's episode and you are enjoying Pokemon Obsidian so far that you smash that like button down below. Give it your magic touch because your support is greatly appreciated. But let's jump in really quickly and uh, let you guys see the team that we have right now. So we've got Fado, the, uh, what's it called again? The Koki Pound. Koki Pound. Uh... That evolved. Our starter finally evolved, which is pretty cool. I really like his evolution. It looks really, really cool. I dig it. Uh, it is a grass fighting type, too, which is really, really rad. And it's rock and tackle, sand attack, absorb, and bulk up. Next up, we got Top Gun, our star raptor at level 17, rock and tackle, double team, quick attack, and wing attack. Next up is Top, our Nidoran at level 15, rock and scratch, growl, tail whip, and double kick. Then we got Lady Loxus, our Mareep with uh, level 12, Rock and Tackle, Growl, and Thundershock. And then last but not least, we've got Oliver the Marowak, which we caught in the last episode. Uh, this was actually a static Pokemon, so I decided to just go ahead and scoop it up. We pro we might not use it, or we might actually replace um, Toph with Oliver, just because eventually it will be repeated typing So with two ground types. So I don't know how that's all going to roll, but for right now, it's pretty high level, so we've got it on the team. I guess for backup... If nothing else. Hello? Okay, well this is this is nothing. This is nothing significant. Alright, so let's I'm gonna absorb and like just take this thing out just for the sake of getting some experience, you know? Get a little bit of experience. That should be that should be good. And uh actually. All right, cool. So, sorry, I was checking a text. My mother had texted me, so that's cool. Let me go ahead and go back. All right, sorry for that little distraction. Uh, it looks like some man-made wall was wall with carvings of some symbol on it. I'll have to call up Tamarack and let him know what we have found. I'm gonna head to Pine Root City so I can call him. Come find us when you're done here. So can I look at this? Some sort of symbol is carved into this wall. Hmm. Interesting. So I, I kind of dig that, like, there's this whole background of, like, these mysterious towers, and apparently, and... I like that it's... I don't know. I think it's really cool that it's kind of, like, very... I don't know what the term I'm looking for is. Archaeological? Not necessarily archaeological, I guess. But it's like, it's like, um... Well, I, I guess you, you might say that that's, that's, uh, what you could, what you could call it. Because it's very, it's very, like, searching for artifacts and secrets and stuff. And I'm kind of into that. I think that's a really cool, cool background. I don't think any Pokemon game has ever actually tackled that. I mean, there's a lot of really cool, like, mythos of, like history and lore and stuff, but this one, it's like you're actually going in to study it. I know Cynthia was kind of, was kind of into that a little bit. Not necessarily to the full degree of, like, she was an archaeologist, but I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get out of here. Yo, dude, dude. I mean, honestly, I'm just absorbing and, you know, trying to do as much as I can to this thing. 
I wonder what the next gym is, by the way. Also, I guess I could check out and see, because I actually didn't think about this in the last episode, to check it out. Yo, that's pretty rad. It actually has, like, unique badges in this game. That's cool. Also, I like how it looks kind of like the, uh, the logo for uh, Animal Crossing. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and absorb. So I found a little kind of glitch, I guess, in the game where if you hold down B when you enter or exit, or not B, but the run button, like what's normally the button you hold down for the running shoes, when you exit a building, it will kind of like speed things up and make it faster. And so I may use that to my advantage in a couple of places. So here's a Machop. Do I want to catch a Machop right now? I might actually come back, just depending on what like the next gym is and stuff. So it's kind of like a speed up button in a sense, but like I said, I'll try and only use it when it's like a situation where well, that didn't do anything to you. I was hoping it might do a little bit more. But this should actually get me to level 18, which is pretty rad. Sweet! So, that Machop goes. Yeah, and if, I mean, if it's something that I think, like, a fighting type could help us out with, I might come back and get that. So let's heal up. And I do apologize again for some of the places where, uh, where the sound doesn't work properly. I don't know if it's just, like, a bug in the game or if it has something to do with the files. Uh, I'm not sure, but like some of the sounds like the uh, like the healing sound and the evolution sound and when you get items and stuff, it's, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. Oh hey, it's this guy again. I guess we should give him a proper voice. Hmm. Oh great, I was hoping you'd come here. It occurred to me that when we met in Needlepoint Woods, I never introduced myself. Well, my name is Ark, and I am traveling the world in search for a better understanding of why we exist. I know it may seem kind of odd, but we all have goals and aspirations, and mine just happens to be a tad more philosophical than others. What did you say your name was? Ah, oh, magic. I'll make sure to remember that. Well, I'm off to continue my journey. There are some islands I'm sure will, would be nice to explore. I'll have to get a ride from a fisherman or something. It is of no worry. I will be seeing you around, Magic. Alright, cool. So, he's gonna bounce. I don't know really why I'm going in here. I guess I can talk to this guy. Have you ever heard of the Lost Zone? It's some sort of myth, but there's a handful of people that believe it really exists. Hmm. Hey there, little dude. As soon as you are always... As long as you are always prepared, you have nothing to fear. That's a good point. Which means we should probably stop stock up on some items if we can. So we got some potions in the bag. We're gonna buy five more because we can. Um, I buy a little bit of medicine. Just a little bit of medicine, just in case we need it. And then I guess I can buy some more pokeballs. I will buy 9 and make 20. I'd like to buy even numbers or, you know, like 25 or something like that. Not necessarily even numbers, but a nice round number. Okay, this is kind of a cool town. It just so happens that every time that I've played the game, it's been nighttime. Which may be a bad thing because I know that. Some, there's some things that only happen during the daytime, but it just so happens that this is the time that I'm able to play, so. Have you ever heard of the Pokemon Entei? I guess a volcano erupts every time it roars. That's pretty rad. Yet it doesn't learn Earthquake, which is kind of crazy. This is Gym Leader uses Psychic Types? If you can find a Bug, Ghost, or Dark Type to use, you should be set. While you're taking the Gym Challenge, your father and I are going to see if we can find someone that can bring us farther north. Bro, 
Psychic type as the second gym? We're gonna get blown away, especially... And our starter. And our starter is now... Oh, jeez. Our starter is now part fighting, too. I hear you can see Pine Root from the Champion's Archway. Someday I will hike up the mountain to see such a view. It's a lot more fun to be out at night because you don't have to worry about people seeing you. That's true. Here we go. Question of the day. Are you a daytime person or a nighttime person? I am very much a night owl. Been like that since I was a kid. Oh, hello, trainer. You look adequate enough. My boss isn't currently home, but he told me to give a challenge to any visiting trainers. He had us hide a bunch of these little collectibles around Everan. They look like Pokeballs, but they're a teal color and have a question mark on them. He wants to see how many can be found by trainers, so now you know to keep an eye open. Well, that's kind of cool. Kind of a scavenger hunt thing. There's a man on the outskirts of Pine Root City. This is said to... That is said to sell off to secret islands every once in a while. I wonder what's on those islands. So, can I go into any of these houses? Oh, hello. Oh, this is kind of crazy. Having a dual type Pokemon is always cool. Just think, if you have six dual type Pokemon types on your team, it's like having 12 Pokemon. Well, I don't know that I would say that. It's like potentially having 12 types. But you might have repeated typing. That's the thing that could happen. The hotel always has really rich people and strong trainers sleeping there. Someday I'll be a good trainer and spend the night there. But you live here. Onyx is one of my favorite Pokemon. It's such an intimidating creature. That is true. Onyx is a big dude. Okay, that door is locked. I like that these guys just have their doors open. I feel so lonely living in a city by myself. Maybe I'll find a good man to make me feel less lonely. Well, maybe. If you can cook, man, you ha you've got my heart. I'm just saying. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. That is true most of the time. During tournament season, a lot of the trainers stay in Pine Root City's hotel. The funds from that help keep Pine Root prosperous. Very cool. Oak Grove City is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Oak Grove. We used to live in Oak Grove City, but we moved here to live closer to our son. He is a very skilled martial artist. Ooh. This is a three-story, like, building. Apartment building. When you live in a big city, everything you need is very close. There's also many people you can get to know. That is cool. That is true. That is true. It's better to train your Pokemon and level them up than to level them up through rare candies. That is also true. This hat is really stylish and a lot more stylish than your stupid scarf thing. Yo! Shots fired, dude! Calm down! Bro, it's not that serious. It's not even cool. You're a bug catcher, man. You're a bug catcher. wonder how A-Drive would feel about you insulting people like that. What do you want to say? There's nothing like a warm sunny day, wouldn't you agree? I agree, that's actually pretty good. There's nothing like a cool dark night, wouldn't you agree? You know what, both of those are true, I'm not gonna lie. What the heck? Yo! All right, we gotta go, we gotta go see what that's about. What the heck? Ah, uh, yeah, I talked to you. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this is kind of crazy. Hang on, I need to switch Pokemon around a little bit. You need some experience. Lady Loxus is just kind of sitting in the background right now. <laughs> Not even using it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. So let's see what this is about. Okay, according to this, this is, must be Archie speaking, so... Hmm, it's a good thing we settled our differences, Maxi. I guess this guy is calling together the leaders of all the syndicates. Hmm, yes. Where did he tell us to meet? Oak Grove City, right? We should probably get our bags from our rooms. 
Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he's even convinced Giovanni to come out of hiding. I believe Cyrus from Team Galactic wants to join as well. What? Are we serious right now? Hmm, well, sounds like we aren't the only ones who like the guy's plans, right, Archie? Ha, <laughs> yeah. Let's hope it works out better than ours. So, yo. So, apparently, all of, like, the evil team leaders are getting together. Giovanni, Archie, Maxi, and Cyrus. What the heck? I wonder if this is before or after black and white. I called Tamarack. Oh, this is Dad. I, he, I called Tamarack and he said the mockings sounded familiar. He said to meet, uh, he'd meet us in Oak Grove City once he finds out more in his books. So while you try to get the city's badge, we're going to look for someone who will be willing to bring us further north towards the first tower. What the heck, dude? Hey, you can't be in here. This is for authorized workers only. I'm not going to enforce that, but just be careful, please. I don't want to. You, I don't want to get in trouble. Hyper potion. Jeez, calm down, dude. What are you doing down here? Get out of here. I'm trying to make inventory on all the crates. Okay. I feel like this goes to that building. I feel like this goes to that building right there. Oops, I was holding down the button. Is this the gym? We are not ready for that. Calm down. I want to go see what this is about. Oh, we can come down here to the ports. You can't hike in the water. You might be a physicist. I love the smell of an ocean breeze. Hey, this is one of those things. A secret ball. That's cool. So we are scavenging. Scaven... Scavenging? I don't know. So this is the hotel. This must be that hotel they were talking about. Sorry, but all the rooms are currently taken. You'll have to come back another time. Okay. So I want to see, like, what the levels are going to be in here. Yo, we're going to get blown so far back. You know what? I say let's go, before we even think about any of this, let's go back up here to the grass north. And let's see if we can find a decent... I wish I had scooped up a Poochina now. I really wish I had scooped up a Poochina now. But let's come back here and grind a little bit. Just because we need it. And hopefully we can maybe scoop up a dark type or a bug type or something. Oh man. And I just ate ate some food. So like I'm I'm trying not to uh to like burp all over the mic, because that's kinda nasty. And nobody wants to hear that. Sweet and tough is ready to evolve. So here we go. Uh, dude, I don't know. I've been in a good mood all day today. All day today, that is what I say. The bars are real. Wait, was there just not any music or did it stop working? I could have swore there was music on this route. It's powerful. Powerful, powerful Need Arena. Need Arena, my girl. Could you put in the work? Stop with your crit, Starly. It's, it's not serious. Quick attack, your plays. Your plays. I wonder what level would be sufficient for taking on. Because I'm just saying, the last gym we got blown back in, and I don't want that to be the trend. I don't want that to be the trend. I was really hoping we would run into like a bug or a dark or a ghost. There's a drowsy. You know what? I'm going to catch a drowsy. I'll catch a drowsy. I'll catch a drowsy. I mean, it's not the best thing. Oh, snap. 
but I mean, it could be decent. It could be decent in the gym. That might have been a bad idea. Disable. Ooh, the plays. So. We're gonna we're gonna throw the uh, Pokeball and hopefully we can scoop you up. Sweet, 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 sweet. We got a Drowsy. And if your nose becomes itchy while you are sleeping, it is a sure sign that a Drowsy is standing above your pillow and trying to eat your dream through your nostrils. What? That's not legit. Oh my lanta, that's... that's weird. That is weird, my friends. That is weird. Um... I'm gonna name this... what do I wanna name this? I kinda wanna name him Dipped, because he looks like he's, uh, dipped in chocolate. Uh, I keep forgetting that I have to do F5 to switch the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna call him Dipped. Or better yet, I'm gonna call him Dipper. I'm gonna call him Dipper. We'll call him Dipper. Yeah. Dipper makes a is sounds more like a name. Dipper fainted. Hopefully he didn't die, though. Hopefully that wasn't that 2% chance. Hello, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Yay. He's gonna not like me very much. Hope to see you again. Alright, cool. So we got, like, a full team of Pokemon right now. So that's kind of cool. You know what? Let's go ahead and go in the gym and we'll battle, like, one trainer. And see if we can kind of gauge some levels. That's an idea. It's not the gym. So this gym is actually inside. As opposed to the last one. So I like that they switched that up. Okay. Wait, what? This thing is like... I don't understand. Marty is such a stud. He's even smarter than he lo than his looks make him appear. Uh, you've got some crushes going, Joanne. You've got a nod to level 14. You don't need to be up front for sure. I'm gonna switch into Lock Lady Loxes, who hopefully is not gonna get blown back too much. And can Thundershock this Natu. We can resist that. Got the para too. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Synchronize. That's fantastic, actually. A critical hit. Alright, so we should be good to go for another. We eating that up, we eating that up, we eating that up. Alright, Nazi, you got blown back. I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun for me. Hope it was fun for you. Uh, sends out another Natu. Alright, so what we're gonna do, because this is free training for you, is let's go ahead and... Did I not buy... There must not have been any Paralyzed Hills. I thought I... Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, dude. Actually, we need to heal you first. So let's, uh... Let's Super Potion you. Alright, let's Super Potion you. You're gonna go Nightshade. And... You know what? I'm not even gonna do that because I was, I was going to... I was going to uh, heal your paralysis, but then I realized that you may totally 
just synchronize me back if you get paralyzed again. So let's instead potion back up. Go for a leer. Ooh. Ooh, a leer. That's what they said in Pokemon Stadium. They would say, Ooh, a leer. Oh, fantastic. You can live that. Thundershock. Bop, 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 bop. Not to get rocked. Is that bars? I think that was bars. Alright. I will gain Marty's love someday. I knew it. Girl got a homegirl got a crush. So I'm not sure what the puzzle is here. But anyway, now we've got an idea. She had some 14s and stuff. So anyway, guys, I think we're about time. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode as I go and heal. Remember that if you did enjoy this episode, be sure to hit that like button down below as always because your support really does help me out. But anyway, guys, for now, we're going to get out. And in the next episode, we will hopefully try and take on the gym. I may go do a little bit of grinding and such in between to get everybody up kind of to a decent level. But uh, in the meantime, I hope you will have yourselves a good day. Stay cool, and we will catch you next time.